Today, I'm going to talk about my process of foam carving. Before we begin, when foam carving, make sure you have proper PPE, so protective eyewear, ear protection, and good quality respirator mask. I first start off with a piece of insulation foam board. I draw a bird's eye view of the bird skull. I then saw out the shape I made and turn a side profile so I'm able to cut down the beak. Next, I grab my Dremel and set up my flex shaft. I put on a half inch sanding drum. I start to sand off the foam. I then hand sand the entire bird skull. After I get a nice smooth sanded finish, I move on to drawing on the eye sockets and nostrils of the bird skull. I grab a 5 16 inch circular carving bit to shave deeply into the eye sockets. I next use a 3 8 inch grinding stone to really deepen the eye socket and to help break through the foam. I quickly switch back to the 5 16 circular carving bit to help break completely through the other side of the foam so I can form a bigger hole. I go back again to the 3 8 inch grinding stone. Once I got the depth of the nose and eye socket that I want, I use the half inch sanding drum to help shape the beak even more, which I then switch to hand sanding the beak for a smoother finish. I decided to experiment a bit and carve underneath to the skull. I wanted more depth for the nostrils, so I decided to use a quarter inch grinding cone. I then grabbed the 5 16th carving bit to shave a bit more in the nostrils and eye sockets to get a more rugged look to the bird skull. Finally, I'm hand sanding it to get a smooth finish. Up next, my painting process photos. Thanks for watching.